New version 10 has arrived with exciting features. Empower your digital and secure networks with add-ons like family DNS, heat maps, subscription renewals for residentials. HSNM version 10 comes with the family DNS. The family DNS service allows you to resolve domain names very quickly, obtain statistics on the most queried domains for the system or each gateway, and enable the use of many blacklists at the system or gateway level or for individual PPPO users. From the admin tab, click system settings, then select DNS from the drop-down. In the general data, there are the primary and secondary DNS that you must enter once you first install the platform. Our partners with earlier versions installed will see that the DNS session has been moved from the network session to here. Now expand the family DNS session. The platform is delivered with the family DNS set on no, therefore, this option is disabled as default. When you click enable on family DNS you are displayed different options. We start with the blacklist option, which contains 36 categories of domains to block. From pornography with more than 4 million websites to categories such as social networks, games, malware, gambling, drugs, etc. The first time you activate a blacklist, you will see a zero in the count as the system updates the list upon activation only. The blacklists self-update every day at 4 in the morning. You also can add custom domains. You need to enter domain names as direct domains and separate them with a comma or by enter. Don't use special characters as they are not allowed. Now expand the options session if you wish to block domains that are not part of the blacklist categories. Here you can add the domain separated by comma or by enter. In the family DNS, you can give gateways and PPPO users the ability to customize their blacklists and domains to block. You need to click Customize by Gateway and PPPO users first. Then save it by clicking the Save button on the top right corner. Now move to the Data tab, expand the levels and click the drop-down menu of your gateway. Click the Edit option. You have now displayed the Family DNS menu. It is set to No as default. If you don't activate a blacklist at system level, the gateway won't have the ability to block it. Forced to use the family DNS is available for microtic type gateways only. If you flag it, you force the pass through the family DNS. For PPPO users, you can enable the blacklist both at the gateway level and for each user. In case you block a domain, once the users try to open it, they are displayed a DNS error warning. Now we move back to the system settings. In the DNS family session, there is another add-on option, the filters. We suggest enabling, customize by gateway, option, but enabling the filter to avoid HSNM being used as a DNS server if anyone knows the IP. Once you enable filter, your HSNM platform will add the IPs of your gateways to your list. Gateways IPs are not visible. If you scroll down, you also find the TTL menu where you can set the response and the minimum TTL for the cache. In the options, you have the ability to save statistics of the top domains queried to the family DNS. You can choose a value from 50 to 200. Now we move to the main dashboard. We've added new charts and data to your dashboards to help you keep on top of your business information. These new widgets include queries, domains blocked, contents from the cache, domains blacklisted, response time and cache domains. In the graphic, you have a menu dedicated to the family DNS, queries, times and cache size during the last 24 hours. From the system, if you have activated the statistics of the domain, you can see all the top domains queried to the family DNS. Heat maps are available with the new version 10. First of all, you have to select your gateway and add a map. If you don't know how to place an internal or external map, please go to our online wiki and search for the session dedicated to the maps. Once you upload your internal map or enter the coordinates for the external map, you can place your access points. You can add the access point directly on the map or from the drop-down menu that you find in the map. Then, you need to enter the model and the MAC address separated by a comma of all the wireless and WAN interfaces. If you are using MicroTik type access points, you need to upload the configuration file. 
you can click the Upload Configuration button that you find in the top right corner. With version 10, the system can detect Wi-Fi connection data even for each access point. As a result, in the Wi-Fi heat map, you will get statistics on traffic developed, number of sessions, devices connected, and duration of the sessions. Whether you have external venues, Wi-Fi heat maps are also available at domain and gateway levels, indicating all the details across all access points under them. If you are using MicroTik, statics are updated every minute. Using other vendors, you get the update every interim update. The access point dashboards have been enriched with the following tiles, users, devices, connections, traffic. You can get many details from the main graph, from the average session time to the concurrent users and devices during the last 24 hours. If you need more details, we added the data management tool option to the context menu of the zones and access points. At domain, gateway, and user levels, the data management tool has been enriched with a panel that allows filtering and exporting the log of user Wi-Fi connections to an Excel file. With version 10, you can locate the user on the map. You can search for the user directly from the search tab by entering the user's detail or from the data tab. Think about when you deal with hospitals and care homes. You can now search for a patient, a resident or a doctor and locate where they made the last Wi-Fi connection and find them. Whether a piece of equipment is provided with Wi-Fi, you can monitor its location and find it immediately. From the user's menu, select locate the user on the Wi-Fi heat map. You are displayed where the user is connected. When I move to the menu, I am sure you have already seen that we added the user's Wi-Fi connection log that shows the details of the connections to the various access points. With version 10, you can make PP PO users, commonly known as residentials, pay their subscription renewals or outstanding online by using the Welcome Portal add-on functionality. This feature is available with MicroTik type NAS only. The PP PO user is equipped with a new session, the awaiting payment session. You can run this action from the graphical user interface or your CRM via API. Now we search for a user that we named Residential007. Click Edit and scroll down to Awaiting Payment and click Yes. You can enter the recurring subscription amount and, if you want, a description to display to the user. Then click the Save button. What happens when you or your CRM activate this flag? The system sends a disconnection request to the PP PO NAS that disconnects the user. The user is displayed a message, a landing page that you can customize. The user has to enter his username and password and pay the amount. But, if the user is without internet, how can he pay? The system unblocks the user for 10 minutes to give the time to enter the credit card, the voucher or pay using the mobile phone. Once he pays the subscription, the system auto removes the flag and the user can enjoy the plan he paid for. Other important features are part of version 10. We rewrote a part of the radius to optimize and improve the management of the data in the database, expanding functionalities. Now the system updates users immediately when changing a product policy. With regards to surveys, we added an option that allows you to choose whether or not to group the values of multiple answers in a single field. We also added a field to manage the various consents given by the users. Now subsystems greater than equals 2.0 support HTTP2, the major version of the HTTP protocol used by the World Wide Web, boosting performance. We also added permission to system users to activate the internal syslog. For each system user, you can now define the permission to activate the internal syslog in the gateways. Moreover, we optimized the automatic update script of IP radius and DNS on MicroTik. If the configuration had not been changed, now it does nothing while before, it was constantly reconfiguring every 5 minutes. With version 10, you can update the scripts of your MicroTik type access points automatically. We improved the scripts on MicroTik type gateways and access points. Installing the update will cause an automatic update. We changed the automatic script update of the IP binding for MicroTik. Now they are updated when needed only. If you like you can explore the other features and update your platform by clicking the new version available session in the admin tab.